Hey, it's Buddy here. So today I'm going to show you guys how to change an old electrical outlet to a new one properly in the safest way. So let's get right into it. Now all you're going to need here for this job is some electrical pliers. These do have cutters and strippers on them. If you don't have these, that's fine. You can use needle nose pliers. Also, a screwdriver. This one does have a flat head and a Phillips head. You're going to need your new outlet, of course, and then any kind of a light that you can plug into the outlet you're working on to tell whether it has power or not. That way you're going to know whether the outlet you're working on is going to shock you or not. And our goal is not to get shocked today. So the first thing we want to do is plug in a light source to the outlet that we are going to be working on. Now what you're going to want to do is find your electrical panel box and switch these off one by one and then go check and see if the light turned off in the outlet you're working on. Or you can have somebody in the other room yell and tell you if it turned off or not. And to take a little bit of the guessing out of it, your electrician should have set everything up. See, this one says range, oven. So you're going to kind of know which one to trip first. If it's not labeled, that's no problem. Do what I said before. Just switch each one off until you find that the light turns off in the outlet you're working on. And I promise you, you will not mess anything up in your house messing with your electrical box. So now that we know our electrical outlet has no power to it, we can start by removing the plate. Now that our plate is removed, it gives us access to these two screws here, and these are what we're going to remove to get our actual outlet out. So once we got those screws all the way out, it does give us access to pull our outlet out all the way and we're gonna see what's going on in the back. So there's two different ways our outlet can be wired. The wires could be either shoved into the back of the outlet, or they can be tied around these little screws. Now if you look here on this green screw, you'll see as the wire is actually tied around, that is your ground wire. It's just a wire with no insulation. It's just a straight copper wire. And sometimes there's actually two white wires coming out from back here. Two white wires and two black wires. How that's gonna be hooked up is obviously one white wire is gonna run here, one white wire is going to run here, one black wire is going to run here, and one black wire is going to run here. Now, quick side note, whether you have two black wires or two white wires, it doesn't really matter which one they go on. It doesn't matter if you click one white wire here to this one and the other white wire to this one. As long as the white wires attach to the silver screws and the black wires attach here to the gold screws. Now, in terms of wiring in your new one, it's going to be the same principle whether there's two white wires, one white wire, or two black wires, or one black wire. So what you can either do to pull these out is you can take your pliers and you can rip them out like that. What I prefer to do is just take some wire cutters and just give them a quick snip. Now you're gonna to need to restrip your wires. The easiest way to do it is with wire strippers. Just put it in the correct hole and you give it a quick pull and then your wire is stripped. Now we're gonna to have to do that with the white one as well. You can do it without wire strippers, but it's kind of a pain. Uh, you can take it and don't cut it. Just kind of score along right here and you kind of pull out and it will work sometimes. I definitely recommend getting wire strippers you can get them at Ace Hardware, Home Depot for a couple bucks. They're not very expensive at all. So now we got our black and our white wire, both stripped. Now we're going to need a note here on our new outlet. We're going to have gold screws and we're going to have silver screws. Gold screws is always going to go to the black and our outlet's going to go like this. Silver screws are always going to go to the white. So we're going to take our black wire, put it over here, our white wire, put it over here, and that's how we're going to wire it in. So like I said earlier here in the video, you can do it one of two ways. You can either tie the wire around the screw or you can shove it in this hole in the back. I prefer to tie it around the screw, but I'm going to show you guys both ways. So to shove the wire in the hole, you want to make sure that your wire is going to be perfectly straight. If it's not straight, it's not going to go in there. So you can take your needle nose pliers, kind of flatten it out, make sure it's as straight as possible. And this is our white. So again, we want to make sure it goes in the silver part, not the gold part. Now this is the way I prefer to do it. I'm going to take my black wire, put it on the gold screw. 
I'm going to give it a little fish hook. Then I'm going to take it like this. Put it around the screw. Clamp it together like that. And then I'm going to screw it in. Now the last one here is our ground. You don't really have a choice. You have to tie it around the green screw. So you can bend it around. You can either do this with your fingers or your pliers. Bend it around like that. And then take your screwdriver and then tighten it up. Now your new electrical outlet will come with new screws. A little tip here, if you place your screwdriver here in the screw and line it up and then start screwing, it is a lot easier. If you're finding this video really helpful, I'd really appreciate if you hit the thumbs up button right under the video. It really helps me out a lot, guys. Now the last thing to do is just simply put on our plate and screw in the flat head screws here. Now be sure to hit the subscribe button and the little bell icon next to it so you get all notifications. I'm going to be doing a lot of detailed videos like this, like how to unclog toilets, how to fix a leaky sink. Also a lot of automobile stuff as well, like how to change your battery, change a flat tire, and also things like how to change your oil and how to change your power steering fluid, and a lot of other really detailed cool videos like this. So be sure to subscribe and leave me a thumbs up and have a great rest of your day, guys.